Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's Black Ops Cold War video. Guys, today I have checked and made sure that I'm actually recording audio. So we're going to get this in one and done. Not going to have to record two and have a crappier video, a crappier gameplay. We're going to get this all done in one. Let's hop into a game right now. I wanted to use the MAC-10 today, but we joined the game late. So we're going to be running the M4 and oh my goodness. Why did I, why do I join games late for? It's not very nice. Like who plays a game of hardpoint? Loses the first hill and then just backs out. Like what? Who, what kind of psychopath does that? Makes me feel in their spot. You jerk. Who is here? Oh, him. Thank you to everyone who came to the stream last night over on the Eastern Media Channel. Tonight, we will be streaming again at 9 p.m. Eastern time. And I'm kind of, I don't know, guys. I've been, you know, I was talking about it in yesterday's video. That aim sucks. Should have warmed up, but that's okay. Uh, I was talking about it yesterday. I really am enjoying this Valorant kit. Dude, what is happening? What is this lobby? Uh, oh my goodness. But I've been really enjoying the Valorant kick. Yesterday, what we did on stream is we played COD for the first hour. Some search and destroy. Dude, I, I'm about to... I'm just going to leave this lobby, I think, and get a new one. But we um, played COD for the first hour of the stream, which was a lot of fun. And then after everyone had to get... I'm, I'm just going to back out and get a new lobby. This lobby is annoying. What I was trying to say is we played COD for the first hour, and then the next two hours we played Valorant. And I'm definitely getting better... Uh, the biggest problem though is still just like my keyboard and mouse mechanics need like, you know They still need a lot of improving as you guys can tell from that little, you know, a little segment We just had on satellite. But let's find a new game Hopefully one from the beginning and not getting sniped 50 times in a row. Oh, no We're joining the game late again, but this time it's cartel. All right, we joined this game like barely late So this this is more acceptable. You know what I'm saying? Like We're st literally still on the first hill. I mean, I would rather join the game at the very beginning, you know, get that first blood but what are you gonna do? We'll take what we can get. Oh, here we go. He coming up on me. It's psych. You thought. I've been doing a lot of aim labs though. Oh no. I hear shots to my left. I've been doing a lot of aim labs, which has been helping a lot too. But also, I mean, like I was saying in yesterday's video, just playing Valorant, like a game that I've never played before. Like I've never played on controller before, so I don't have any excuses. Has helped tremendously. So if anyone is like me and you're switching from controller to keyboard and mouse. You should like go to so you go to aim labs first so you can get your exact sensitivity like between games, right? No one's gonna touch hill, no problem. Yes, I am running the dual diamantes. Everyone is destroying me with them, so might as well pull them out myself. Oh, they're spawning behind us. I see you up here. Oh, I guess he didn't see me though. Oh, my aim sucks. That's okay. Hold up. Wait a minute. Oh my goodness, there's three right there. But after you get your sensitivity like across your games, like. Play a game that you've never played before or play a game that you at least have never played like on controller before that way like you you know you get that like negative block out of your head which is what i was having where i was like dude if i was just on controller right now in cod i would have destroyed that guy like i know i would have but when you play a game like valorant or csgo overwatch i don't know there's tons of other games as long as you're playing the same sensitivity and you're getting used to keyboard and mouse it's so good Let's see if I can get this guy right. Oh, oh my goodness. Right, that was a little rough. One thing I can, another thing I can say is even if I warmed up like before this, I found that I need like right now, since I'm still not 100% comfortable on keyboard, I need like a lot of warm up games to really get in the hang of it. And running like the M4 or even the Krig has been helping me a lot because like I'm usually taking fights from farther away. So for one, you know, I have to be more precise, but two, Usually when I'm farther away, I'm getting shot at less often, like for the most part, you know, compared to running the AK-74U, like where they're right in my face. And then the problem with the AK-47, which is the better AR, is, I don't know, the recoil is just crazy. I, guess, I don't know if I have a wrong build or what, but the recoil on that AK-47 is absurd. Okay, that was, that guy was just still there. That was weird. Right here, come on. Where are you? You're in the smoke. One thing that's really nice about keyboard and mouse, though, is like, I've been running smoke on my... I call it my loser mode class where because in search and destroy everyone is running lawbreaker dude and it's so annoying but you can't really blame them because if everyone else is doing it why not be everyone else and do it too so i've just been doing it. i've been trying my best instead of being like modern warfare where i complain about overkill the whole year i was like i'm just gonna run it myself but the point is is i've been running smokes and on keyboard and mouse you don't have to worry about aim assist like so aim, our smokes takes away controller aim assist and you don't have to worry about that can I shoot through here? I mean, I can. I got a hit marker right there. But yeah, you don't have to worry about that. Oh my goodness, these things are so busted. You don't have to worry about the aim assist problem. So running smokes is actually like super beneficial on keyboard and mouse like COD. So there you go. There's another tip, dude. That's it. This is just a tips video now. If you guys don't know that aim labs program, that was a really bad aim right there. That aim labs program I was talking about earlier, it's on Steam. It's like considered a game. Uh, 100 Thieves is like 
partnered with it. I'm pretty sure like in the other esports teams are partnered with it, but it's free. So like I said, people actually use it to warm up their shot and practice their shot. And it like it has like built in mini games with like different scenarios to warm up your shot. But then also, like I said, the main reason why I use it is like Call of Duty to CSGO to Valorant to Overwatch, all four like different games. But I just have to put in my sensitivity on COD and then it'll tell me my sensitivity on every game. And there's a, like a ton of games listed on there. So you just have to check to see if your game is listed. But it more than likely is. I mean, I, 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 it takes forever to scroll through all the games to get to the bottom of the Valorant. Since it starts with a V, it's alphabetical order. It takes forever. Um, let me... That was terrible aim, but it doesn't matter because I have broken pistols. <laughs> I love it. I love using broken stuff myself instead of dying to the broken stuff. Get that nice little trophy action going on. Oh, wait, wait. Oh, that's another thing, I guess. Cartel. Oh, you know, what? actually, no. Cartel is bad for keyboard and mouse speeds. I'm pretty sure you still get aim assist through the bushes. I was about to say, like, if there's no aim assist through the bushes, I don't need aim assist because I'm on keyboard and mouse. But no, I think it's the exact opposite. Pretty sure there's a lot of aim assist through the bushes, and I don't get it at all. But it's okay because I never play this map because it's hot garbage. I must say, like, this year, I know there's, like, not as many maps, like, in the game, but majority of the maps that we play for Search have been, like, fun. You know what I'm saying? Like, first of all, we have a raid. You know what actually sucks? Nuketown is, like, probably the worst. <laughs> the worst, like, Search and Destroy map because everyone is so small that instead of everyone pushing up, everyone just sits in the back of their yards. I don't know where these guys are spawning at. So Search, our Nuketown is probably the worst. Crossroad Strikes I love. Raid I obviously love. I mean, Moscow is great. Checkmate's amazing. Did I say Crossroads? I love that one. Garrison is, like, all right. It's definitely, like, not the best, but I still I still vote for it, like, quite a bit. I like that one. Um, I'm trying to think, like, what's a bad one? I mean, I guess so. Miami's, like, not necessarily a bad one because, like, it's... Miami plays way better on search than it does in Respawn. If you guys... It's just, like, Arkloff Peak and Azir Cave, in my opinion, and MW... Those maps, in my opinion, are terrible. Warcraft P, I like, grew on me. But that's because I loved it so much in Search that I found it acceptable to use. You know what I'm saying? Where before, Warcraft Peak and Azir Cave were terrible. And Azir Cave is terrible outside of Search completely. And but once you play them on Search, dude, you just have that one life. Like you can make the big maps, big maps useful. I said big maps. I haven't even been. Did I say big maps there? I haven't even been to McDonald's in years. I know contrary a popular belief i have not actually been to a mcdonald's in years okay thank you <laughs> i would like to win this uh game so if my team could just be better than me and is he gonna peek me oh he's not okay let me hop on this real quick wait not am i are they spawning behind me now oh my goodness they are they are here we go this is like my moment as an ar player right here this is it i just gotta hold this front line i don't have a grenade and they're they're on my back never mind i tried my best Guys, I also finally finished Cobra Kai Season 3. Guys, if you haven't seen Cobra Kai, I mean, I I cannot recommend that show. And I must say, I must say, if you have kids, right? If you have kids and you're watching this, I don't know who's watching me that has kids. But if you have kids or a younger brother or a cousin or anything like that, anyone near you, probably don't let them watch it. Because there's a lot of fighting and they are going to... If they're like me, back when I used to watch WWE as a kid, as soon as the episode's over, now they want to fight. Like, they want to fight everyone, you know what I'm saying? So I don't know if you'd want to watch it in front of them, but it's amazing. I have seen the first Karate Kid, but it's been so long that I basically just say, like, I've never seen it. And it's still, like, an epic show. What You guys gotta watch it, but I just finished watching that, Taylor and I. My wife, it's been amazing. That's another thing, guys, by the way, Monday, January 11th. Oh, crap, I meant to slow down that speed boost there. Uh, it's Taylor and I's two-year wedding anniversary, so there will probably be a shortage of videos. Actually, another thing is this weekend, starting Friday night, uh, right after I get off work, we are going to go visit. I'm 42 and 23, not doing too shabby right now. We're going to go visit the piece of property that we just bought where we're building a house on this summer. So, because we got to, you know, we got to get the driveway in. We got to start marking some stuff and all that. So, Friday night, we're going to be leaving, and then we'll be coming back, like, Sunday night, and then Monday is our anniversary. So there's going to be, like, towards the end of this week, early next week, a little bit of shortage of videos, but don't worry about Definitely a shortage of streams, obviously, because, you know, can't be there. For the videos, I'm going to try my best to, like, compile some. That was terrible, but we'll see what happens with that. But I just wanted to give you guys a little heads up on that. All right, here we go. Back in the action. I have a hard time running this M4. Not that I was, like, ever an amazing SMG player, but I've been playing SMG my entire Call of Duty career, so I'm used to just being the guy 
that just runs in, dives on the point. And the problem with that is when you're playing solo and I just run in and dive on the point, you never have an AR like watching over you and like holding spawns or anything like that, which is why I want league play so bad. Cause even in league play, not everyone is like a perfect player, especially like if you're gonna do a lobby with like four ARs together or four SMGs, you know, obviously you're missing, you know, a whole entire role there, which sucks, but most of the time, you actually do get like some pretty competent teammates, especially, you know, the higher rank you get, the better it is. Obviously, nothing's perfect. Well, wow, that was terrible aim. Which, but, I mean, I, I would just want league play already. I know that even if league play came out right now, I would get ranked really low because I'm on keyboard and mouse still. I have a lot of work to do, but I would rank up quick just because, like, once I do get down this keyboard and mouse thing, like, I have, like, the Call of Duty knowledge, you know what I'm saying? I, I know what I'm doing on Call of Duty. Oh, I'm so dead to these. Oh my goodness, double nades and streak. Get off me. About to run in here with just the Diamante pistols. I'm telling you, I'm about to do it. Don't make me do it to you, fellas. Okay. Thankfully, my teammate took care of that guy. We only have like three more seconds left to win this. Can we win it right now? He oh my goodness, literally one second. Oh my goodness, like one second. Just kill that guy. I don't want to go to the next hill. I'm going, I'm pulling out Diamantes. I'm pulling them out. Oh my goodness, we got War Machine done. <laughs> okay. You guys can have that hill. No, we spawned out. Oh my goodness, if we lose this game, I'm going to lose my mind. Oh, thank you. There we go. There we go. Where did we go? 54 and 32. We'll take it. Guys, that is going to do it for today's video. Thank you guys for stopping by. Guys, don't forget, I am trying to start uploading on TikTok every day again, or I don't know about how weekends are going to go, especially this weekend. Like I said, I'm going to be gone, but I want to start uploading on TikTok again. And with that being said, I also want to congratulate Dent. He just recently hit... Uh, was it 1,000 followers on TikTok? So he can finally start live streaming on there, which is so cool. That's something I wanted to do a long time ago when I was first making TikToks and I took a break because all the conspiracies happened around TikTok and I now I regret that. But I'm hop, hopping back in on that. So if you guys are on TikTok, which I know you are, everyone literally is, Rudy Patootie on TikTok if you guys want to follow me there. And also, like I said, tonight at 9 p.m. Eastern, we'll be streaming on my account, the twitch.tv forward slash Rudy Patootie. Tuesdays last night, we were on the Eastern Media channel. It was awesome. Thank, once again, thank you for everyone who stopped by over there. And I'll see you guys all later. Guys, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe on your way out. Goodbye.